today we are going to discuss about bellman ford algorithm uh, which is an example of single source shortest path algorithm in the last class we were discuss about Dis discastra algorithm which is one of the shortest path algorithm but in distra algorithm the edge has no negative edges if an edge has a negative edge then we can't apply a uh, distra algorithm but in case of bellman ford algorithm if uh, an edge has a negative weight then we can apply bellman ford algorithm so uh, what is a bellman ford algorithm is solve the single source shortest path problem on graph with edge with potentially negative weights if an edge has a negative weights suppose if an edge uv if it has edge weight minus 3 we can find the shortest path from uh, a source to v so we can solve this single shortest path problem on a graph with edge with potentially negative weights so what is a negative weight cycle if an edge has a negative weight then it is known as negative weighted edge then what is negative weight cycle if a cycle that is a, a in a graph there is a cycle in that graph exists in that graph then uh, sum of that edge weight of that cycle if less than zero that is total sum when we consider the cycle of that graph then we add the sum up or sum up the uh, edge weights then is uh, less than zero then we can uh, say that it exists a negative weight cycle so if a graph g of ve contains a negative weight cycle then uh, some shortest path may not exist in that case if a, a graph containing a negative weight cycle then that shortest path may not exist there so bellman ford algorithm is mainly used to find all the shortest path from a source to all other vertex if there is a a is a source vertex and find the shortest path from a to b c d or e then that will be performed using bellman ford algorithm also it determines if a negative weight cycle is present in that graph suppose if there is a negative edge cycle is present in that s yes, we can detect the existence of that negative weight cycle using this bellman ford algorithm then here uh, the given directed graph is the g that containing vertex set and edge set then suppose the edges of there is a two vertex is there uv and its edge weight is represented as w of uv then we want to compute a shortest path distance from s to v from all sources for uh, s for all v vertex set in that vertex so there is a graph that containing is a source vertex s yes, and from that s yes, we want to find all other vertex shortest path distance then we can use this bellman ford algorithm so it detects a negative cycle if it exists and is reachable from s yes. or it compute shortest path distance d of sv s is the source vertex for all vertex set in the that vertex set then next one is bellman ford algorithm in the distra algorithm we learn about first step of distra algorithm is initialize single source so here we pass the graph g and weight of each edges that is containing w and the starting vertex or source vertex is represented as s so first one is initialize the single source of that graph the single source is indicated by s 
so here we pass the graph and source vertex then he we are for each vertex v that is v we, we consider if a graph containing five vertex we are considering five vertex in that graph and distance of all vertices is set to infinity and its parent is set to nil and the source vertex source vertex is given here as s so s distance will be initialized to zero so here first see initialize single source means we are initialize uh, every vertex in that graph uh, its distance as in infinity and its parent node as nil except source so what is the time complexity of this here we are using a single for loop and here uh, v number of edges uh, vertex are checked here so order of v is the time complexity of this procedure and next step is for i is equal to 1 to uh, mod of v of g less than 1 here there are five vertex are there in that graph then how many times this loop will be executed number of vertex minus 1 that is four times this loop will be executed so each time we are checking every edge of that graph and we perform relax operation what is relax we check that the distance of v what is the distance of v is stored in dv and we are checking that if there is a vertex u and from v if the this is d of u is here and we are adding the weight of uv then when we add this then already there is a value of dv which is this value is less than this one then we can replace this one with uh, this new value so that is relax that is smallest value will be assigned to the distance that is here relax operation and also u is assigned as the parent of v so here we find the shortest path uh, of the each vertex and here what is the time complexity here we are performing a number of vertex minus one so v minus one this for loop containing number of edges that is e so total time complexity there are four loops are the total time complexity is v into e v e the next loop here we are checking each edges then this loop is used for checking whether if there exists any negative weighted cycle negative weight cycle the presence of negative weight cycle is detected here uh, we are che again checking each after uh, checking uh, if there are five vertexes are there we are uh, perform four iteration here for relaxation and after again we are checking relax section then again it find a smallest value then it means that there exists a negative weight cycle so next time we are checking fifth iteration we are checking the weight of each relax each edge weight then we will get a reduced weight of an edge uh, then it indicates that it, there exists a negative weight cycle so it returns false and otherwise it returns a true true indicate that uh, there doesn't exist a negative weight cycle so what is the time complexity of this one here we are consider uh, edges so order of e is the time complexity of this one so if here it is v e and for in initial source we are taking order of v so we are considering this then which one is maximum order of v into e so time complexity of bell manford algorithm is order of v into e then next that is here 
next we are considering an example in this example first we are consider all the uh, vertices first you start from 1 1 2 3 the weight is 6 and 1 2 4 uh, weight is 3 likewise 2 2 1 3 etc so we assign all the weight here then next step is here we consider as 5 as the source vertex so source vertex value distance will be initialized to 0 all other uh, vertex value will be initialized to infinity and its parent value is initialized to uh, nil then here from here 5 we are considering the last two we can go to this is the uh, second vertex and this is the uh, fourth uh, vertex and 5 to 2 here the weight is 4 then 5 to 4 the weight is 2 so we will update 2 value this is infinity which is uh, now is 2 values will be 4 and here 4 values will be 2 so which is less than infinity so here replace 2 will be replaced with 4 and 4 will be replaced with 2 and its source vertex is parent is 5 so here it is replaced 5 and here also replaced with 5 that is here then next from next we can move from 2 to 4 so here inside the parenthesis it indicate the weight of that uh, corresponding node 2 and here weight of the corresponding node 4 is 2 then from this 2 2 there is only a single pass 2 to 1 that is 3 here we can go 2 to uh, 1 that is weight is here 3 but total weight from 5 to 0 to 4 4 plus 3 7 now weight is 7 so 1 in the weight we replace it is 7 and comes from 2 through the node 2 and again next from 4 4 to 3 and 4 to 2 then 4 from 4 to 3 is 1 4 to 3 is 1 so total weight is here 3 2 plus 1 that is 3 2 is weight of here 4 is 2 then weight of this one is 3 so 2 plus 1 3 so weight of here it is 3 and it is come from 4 then again 4 to 2 when we consider 4 to 2 this weight what will be the weight here it is now 4 weight is 2 2 plus 1 here it is 3 so what is 2 plus 1 is 3 so we can replace this 7 with 3 and here here it is through 4 so that is done here first we are considering through the 2 so then weight is 7 and here 3 weight is 4 2 4 to 2 is weight is 2 plus 1 that is 3 here and here 3 weight is 2 plus 1 3 here and all weight are updated here then again next we are considering in the previous case uh, there is only 4 to 2 4 to 1 is there is no weight is there so we can uh, we can't go to here directly so here in this 4 to 1 4 to 2 4 to 2 is 2 plus 
1 that is 3 and again we are considering 2 to 1 2 to 1 when we consider this path total weight is 2 plus 1 plus 3 3 plus 3 that is 6 that is already there is a weight which is the already weight that is 7 so here now it is 6 so we can replace this 7 by 6 so 6 is here then all remaining uh, weights are not changed so we will uh, after fourth iteration after completing third iteration we are checking all the other nodes but there is no change in, in the uh, distance so next iteration up to we can perform how many iteration if there are five nodes five nodes how many iterations v minus one that is four iterations are take place so in the fourth iteration no edges are relaxed that means there is no weight change so it uh, the final weight from 5 to 4 is 2 and 5 to 2 is 2 plus 1 3 and from 5 to so is 2 3 is 3 and 5 to 1 is 6. This is the uh, shortest path from 5 to all other vertex. Then if we want to check if there are any uh, negative weight cyclists exist then we perform next iteration. Iteration 5 will be performed. During that iteration, if there is any change in this distance, then it means that there is a negative weight cycle exists. But, but here, there is, uh, when we check the next uh, iteration, there is no changes in the weights. So, uh, it means that there doesn't exist a negative weight cycle. So that's all about Bell-Manford algorithm. Thank you.